Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Thursday the 11th of January 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me on Twitter throughout the day by using at yes underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves we need to be aware of. A relatively quiet session. Uh, you can see that uh, here in the table that I've highlighted. Uh, there is one standout mover, though, uh, over the last 24 hours, and that has been Bitcoin trading around $13,240 per coin shortly before we recorded the video, uh, down some $1,650 uh, on the day, a fall of some 11%. Uh, we'll look at the reasons behind that move uh, momentarily. Right, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. First of all, we've had uh, some interesting data out of Asia Pacific. Uh, Australian retail sales came out to 12.30 GMT. A significant beat here, 1.2% versus the consensus number of 0.4. We also had positive data out of Japan in the form of the leading economic index and coincident index data for November. And uh, we saw a uh, significant uh, rises in the data there from the uh, prior reads in both cases right to come at 9 30 this morning we'll have uh, the bank of england credit condition survey uh, report out uh, interesting to see how uh, financial markets are faring uh, as far as the boe is concerned in the uk and then at 10 o'clock uh, industrial production data out of the eurozone that's for uh, november and that's followed at 12 30 by the ecb monetary policy meeting accounts another report being published there by central bank Fast forward to 13.30 GMT, it's Thursday, and so it must be initial and continuing jobless claims data from the States. Uh, we jump forward then to 1900 uh, GMT and the monthly budget statement out of the US. Um, interesting to, to have a look at this because, of course, uh, the US is continuously butting up against the debt ceiling and uh, that data will shed some light on how we fare compared to that. And then at 2030, uh, the Fed's William Dudley will be speaking, so uh, quite a key US central banker taking to the stand to speak. Uh, and then into the evening, 2145, building permits from New Zealand, and at 2350, foreign investment in Japan, bond and stocks data. Right, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, those Australian retail sales grew at their fastest rate for almost five years. So a very positive data point there out of uh, the Australian economy. Meanwhile, Asian tech shares have sold off following the lead from uh, US markets and Samsung uh, traded down to a four month low, an example of what's been going on there. Staying in South Korea, the South Korean government prepares a clampdown on cryptocurrencies and is apparently to discuss a blanket ban. Uh, meanwhile, China's premier has said that he expects data to show that the economy grew by 6.9% uh, in GDP terms for 2017. And at the same time, China's FX regulator has disputed stories about the country discontinuing its purchases of US Treasury bonds. Right, food for thought, something for you to take away into the trading day. Well, why not think about this? There are many sources of news and tips and trade ideas in the markets, but just how well do they perform versus the market as a whole? The chart opposite sheds some light on this. Very interesting chart from ValueWalk and MarketWatch.com. It compares a series of uh, leading US financial sites and their performance, so their stock picks and their performance against the S&P 500 index. Barron's Magazine uh, was the only one of the websites that they compared to actually beat the market. So I suppose the lesson we should take there is it's probably always worth doing your own research. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange and margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of the products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative.